Have you ever wondered how our solar system was formed? I believe that we will not experience life on Earth without the formation of our solar system 4.6 billion years ago. Today, we will learn about the most widely accepted theory of the planetary formation, the nebular theory. In this lesson, we will understand the formation of our solar system according to nebular theory. But before that, let's have an activity. Study the following diagram. Get paper and pen. Based on the diagram being shown, arrange them properly. Are you ready for the right answer? According to nebular theory, there are six important events happened from the beginning to the formation of our solar system. Let's dig deeper about the nebular theory. According to nebular theory, stars and planets form together from a spinning low density. Clouds and dust called a nebula. It is the uneven distribution of gases throughout the universe. The gravity pull this cloud of dust together. It rotates faster that causes the cloud to flatten creating an accretion disk. The gravitational pull continues to increase that collect matter. At the center, as a result, the temperature continues to rise. This leads to the formation of our star and the sun. As the sun was forming in the center of the nebula, dust particles in the outer regions combined to form planetesimals. A planetesimal is a small body from which a planet originated. Eventually, the planetesimals form into larger bodies, called protoplanets through accretion. Protoplanets' gravity attracted other planetesimals, which added to other masses, eventually they become very large, and form planets and moons. Because all the protoplanets is all formed from the same cloud of dust, they travel around the sun in the same direction and in the same plane. The temperature differentiation determines the arrangement of the planets in the solar system. This resulted in the inner four planets becoming rocky, which are called the terrestrial planets. And the outer four planets became the gas giants known as Jovian planets. Now, let's test your understanding how much have you learned about the nebular theory by answering the following questions. Are you ready? 1. Nebulas are a mixture of gases and what? Dust. Number 2. How long ago was the solar system believed to have formed? 4.6 billion years ago. Number 3. What is the name for the cloud of interstellar gas and dust that condensed to form the entire solar system, including the sun and the planets? Solar Nebula. 4. The planets of the solar system formed as what? Planetesimals collided into one another. 5. What force acted in the massive nebula to collapse it and eventually form our sun? Gravity. In this lesson, we have learned about the most important events in the formation of our solar system according to the nebular theory. The solar nebula began to collapse because of gravity. As the solar nebula rotate, it flattens and becomes warmer near its center until protosun form. The planetesimals begin to form within the accretion disk. As planetesimals grow, their gravitational pull increases. The largest planetesimals begin to collect more of the gas and dust of the nebula. Small planetesimals collide with the larger ones and the planets begin to grow.